Right, so a couple things about 3D renders. The dome light node can give you your HDRI reflections and everything. So I can control the spike layer response of the character. And if I use a replace material node for certain parts of the character by using the picker right here, I could just pick the head, for example, right? And if I wanted his head to be more metallic, I can change that. I can change all of the parameters on certain parts of the model. Then on top of that, if the textures come with normal maps, you can just put that into a U normal map node and then connect that to the replace material and it will just like add to the depth of it. And even if you don't have a normal map, you can use a create bump map node to generate those missing textures. So all of that together will give you a really nicely rendered model. And all you have to do to get the depth is to make a copy of the renderer and then set the AOV to depth then set that depth to the luma channel of the depth blur node like that and now when i change the blur size you'll have really nice depth blur in the scene and you can use the brightness contrast to determine how far it is from the camera and if i preview it this is what the brightness contrast is doing it's just like the depth map node but not ai generated so it looks like really good and of course the handy color corrector node always comes in clutch when you want to do some quick corrections but there are some other alternatives there's magic bullet looks which is supported in davinci resolve somebody actually made a recreation of looks through fusion so you can get that and it imports in LUTs and everything. So you can just have looks inside of DaVinci Resolve Fusion and just do all the color correction here instead of the color page. And let's say I just really, really, really wanted to use the color page. I can just get another media out node and put that onto basically whatever render layer I want. When I add a source onto the color page, that source will automatically be that second media out node. And you can check right here in the key. There's a perfect silhouette of the model right there. And I can do whatever color corrections I want to it. So then I can upscale it with the RTX Video HDR or use literally any of the film emulation nodes even though these are already in fusion and if you haven't heard of it already dream glow one and two are out so you could just use that to make the scene better but uh i mean everybody kind of uses deep glow nowadays so it's kind of your preference but yeah that's how you go from this to this